So, this game is called A Long Goodbye, and on the, uh, on the itch page, it said that it was an emotional game about, um, a conversation between two friends saying goodbye, you know, stuff like that, and, uh, <clears throat> seemed to have really good reviews, it seems like a really pretty game, so, figured I'd try it out, see what it's like. So, uh, yeah. And click start here. Right click and drag to look around. So this is a mouse only game. There's not really much to it, it's um, mostly just talking, the conversation. This is, uh, this is very stylistic though, I like this. Oh, it's actually a 3D environment, I didn't expect that. So we're just parked on the side of the road. Are we parked or did we crash? I assume we're just parked and it just looks like we crashed because we didn't run into anything. I'll click on magnifying glass to investigate. Okay. A young man in an inexpensive suit. I wait, I didn't really get to read that. Okay, who are we calling? We're calling B. Alright. Hey, I can't see you anywhere. Are you in the crowd? I'm not there. What? Hang on. Let me get somewhere quieter. I'm not there, B. What do you mean? There's only minutes till... You said you'd be here. I... crashed my car. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. How the hell did you crash it? Nighttime. I fell asleep at the wheel. The car rolled into a ditch. She's stuck. Damn it, see? You should have just let me pay for a plane ticket. But you can't be too far, alright? I can get someone to come get you. There's not enough time. And they could drive Barb. So I guess this is it. Never thought we'd finish on a phone conversation. I. Me neither. Wow, this is already. This is like really simplistic stuff, you know, like a friend not showing up. Oh shit, I didn't see what that said. I was looking around. Can I see what that said? I brought things to give you. Yeah, I wanted to be like. I still got stuff to give you. I brought things to give you. How are. Sorry. It. Uh. Wait. I can't read that that fast. You said something about bringing me something? Yeah, I had some gifts for you. Oh, what did you give me? Flowers and a CD. Yeah, I would've had to chuck the flowers, but a nice thought, you know? They smell nice. What's the CD? Remember, I like the, an old-fashioned album. Remember a band named Thunderbolt Pyro? I like, I like throwing the name out there. You know, being like, maybe these two had some memories with this specific band. I like that. What? No fucking way. Where'd you find that? I found it while looking for mom's marriage certification. Sorry, it's certification. Marriage certificate. Buried five boxes down in the garage. I like this answer because it means that it's with important stuff. So, you know, maybe it shows that it holds sentimental value to you. Because, like, your marriage certificate's kind of important. So, you know, you'd want to keep track of that. Uh, buried five boxes down in the garage just seems like you kind of just forgot about it. It just got piled, stuff just got piled on it, and you never really went looking for it. So I'm going to answer it. I found it while looking for mom's cert marriage certificate. Oh, right. I ended up listening to it, to the whole thing, a couple of days ago. Charlie, I'm sorry I couldn't come home for the service. Whoa. So, I guess their mom died. Their mom? His mom, I guess. Because they're a really good childhood friend and she... She didn't show. She would have wanted you there... That could be a scene as hostile. She would have wanted you there as in like, why didn't you come? I hate you. You know, I'm upset with you. But also it could be like, uh, you mean a lot to us. I wish you were there. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this, hoping that it's the more lighthearted, friendly of the two. 
She would have wanted you there. I wanted you there. That's more personal. See, you know if I could have... Keeps going. That's frustrating. It keeps going by too fast. Oh. Hang on. I wanted to read that. I think it said something about, you know, I could have been there if... Or, you know, I would have been there if I could have. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there's stuff I can see you now. Okay, back to Okay, so I'm not going to answer this yet. Signed is old picnic gear and a crumpled piece of paper with a letterhead in a foreign language. A blanket and pillow has been thrown back here. Wait. Empty beer bottles on the floor. None of them are broken. Wait. Okay, I have slightly dissembled flowers and a worn CD case sit on the seat. Wait. Blanket and pillow. Old picnic gear. A crumpled piece of paper with a letterhead in a foreign language. Beer bottles. Those beer bottles could be old, but... Blanket and pillow has been... That makes me think that... It makes me think that he might have done this on purpose. Like he intended on like sleeping out here or something. Oh, the window's cracked. I didn't even see that. Okay, back Charlie. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it was just the technician. Everything's on schedule. It's going to be really strange, you being so far away. It's not too far away. It's only like, what? 150 million kilometers? Yeah, 150 million kilometers. You know, at the right time of the day and night... Uh, there it is, I can't read that fast. Figured it out. Around every three days, there will be a five-minute window at 4.23 in the afternoon, give or take a couple of minutes. That's when Centauro Station will be able to see where we are, where we are now. Oh, are they going to space? Whoa! That's actually whoa. That's kind of that's actually really sad because like they're. I figured this was like friends saying goodbye, you know, like just separating, uh, taking their different paths in life. Maybe they can cross each other, see each other in the future. But no, this person's actually leaving, like leaving, leaving, like off the planet, leaving. That's kind of crazy. Are you going to miss Earth? I'm excited for you. Uh, I wouldn't be so much excited for them, depending on the state of everything depending uh, like on during the story like maybe this is you know like how uh, they want to pick a um, or they want a group of volunteers to go to Mars one way trip they're gonna stay there that sort of thing that's kind of freaky I want I don't know if I'd be excited for somebody like yeah I guess it's kind of cool but at the same time shit's kind of scary you know so, I'm gonna say you're gonna miss Earth. Oh, you know. I'll miss the things like sunrises. Come on! And just messing around as kids. I, has anything changed back home? I wanna be able to read some of that stuff. I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing a lot. Surprised you still call it home. Some of the buildings, other people. Surprised you still call it home. I know, right? Me? Sentimental. There's bad memories of home, but a lot of good ones, too, you know? Just causing chaos, turning garage bands, things like that. Barb. Yeah? Why do you ask me to come? We haven't seen each other in years. Because... I just wanted to talk with you again. You're the thing on Earth I'm gonna miss the most. That has to be worth something, right? More than me just leaving without a word or a text or a phone call. Damn, this is sad. I just thought, after everything, we at least deserved a proper goodbye. I think we've been trying to say goodbye for years. I, um... I have to go now. We'll watch the launch, right? Wouldn't miss it for the world. I... Goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye. Damn, this is actually... This is... Wow. 7 minutes and 56 seconds. I assume that's real time. Do I get to watch the launch in the distance? Because it's only 40 minutes. I should be able to see it, right? This is sad, man. I didn't expect it to, like, hit me this hard. This is sad. Yeah, we get to watch it. Please, don't blow up. Wow. I'm going to play through that again, because there are multiple endings. 
And I want one that doesn't end with, like, I have to go now. Goodbye. I don't want to end with, I don't want it to end like that. I don't like that. I don't want it to end like that. Alright, yeah, right click and drag and look around. I, it doesn't, I think it doesn't give you time on purpose. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, I can't see you anywhere. Are you in the crowd? Okay, so this is all the same. Let me get somewhere quieter. I'm not there, B. What do you mean? There's only minutes until you said you'd be here. I crashed my car. That's really sad, because there. Are... That's. Wow. Hello, did you crash it? Uh, swerved to. And last time I said I fell asleep. This time I swerved. But it can't be too far out, right? It's not enough time. And they could drive Barb. Never thought we'd finish on a phone conversation. I. Me neither. Did you end up selling your apartment? You go first. Accidents, huh? Old girl still intact. Damn, so no retirement for the death trap. The first thing you want to do is verbally attack my car. I think that thing's taken every other single sort, er, every other single sort of damage by now, which is entirely your fault, huh? I'd like to see your evidence. All five of your driving tests. It was four or five. Four and a half. <laughs> Besides, I'm a certified master driver now. Oh, I had gifts, by the way. Just a CD. Oh, cool, dude. Wait, it's not country music. I swear to fucking god, if you sent me... I swear to fucking god, if you send me up with country music. Yeah, top 100 country songs. Guaranteed torture. Wow, pulling a severe Minerva, Minerva maneuver there, see. That's... Uh, what? Is that some movie reference? What? No, come on. Remember when that lady at the bar, she... Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm really sorry, Charlie. I swear that was with you. Sounds like a good story. Yeah, it's... You kinda had to be there. I'm really awful at telling stories anyways. That's okay. I mean, I wasn't there. It's fine. I'll change this this time. This time it's gonna say just a CD, right? I'm booking it. Oh, this, it's flowers and a... A CD. Beer bottles. Old picnic stuff. Like in the pillow. Do you have to go now? No, not yet. But pretty soon. Everything's still on schedule. It's gonna be really strange, you being so far away. It's not too far away. It's only like, what? S space? I should have realized when it literally said space. I thought it was like an over-exaggeration. Yeah. Space. You know, at the right time of the day, and I can't read it. I figured it out. Every three days, there will be a wind middle wind at 4:23 in the afternoon, give or take a couple of minutes. That's when Centauri State Centauri Station will be able to see where we are now. I'm excited for you. I am too. I. This is my dream. I'll be sipping space margaritas on my space couch in your space apartment with your space fish or space cat. How is Thompson? What? Thompson the trash rat? Not sure. Enjoying retirement or cat heaven, I guess. What do you mean you don't know? Oh, I... Um, I gave her away, like, a year and a half ago. You gave her away. I didn't have time to ca take care of her with training and everything else happened. Come on, you didn't even like her. I took care of that cat for three years. Yeah, and you had to pop pills every one of those days, which... It was unfair to you. I shouldn't have asked you to keep her. Yeah, well, you know I wouldn't say no. Barb? Why'd you ask me to come? We haven't seen each other in years. Because I just wanted to talk with you again. You're the thing I'm gonna miss the most. And 
is with a phone call. I just thought, after everything, we at least deserve a proper goodbye. We get this instead. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Oh no, don't go. Don't go. Wouldn't miss it for the world. This is so f this is so fucking sad, dude. This is really sad. It's such, it's, they did such a good job writing the dialogue. Like even the banter feels real, feels like it's actually between friends. You're just reading text, there's not even another person, there's no exposition, there's none of that. So I think it ends the same way every time, you just get different dialogues each time, so there weren't really a whole lot of different options I could choose, maybe a couple here and there, but um, yeah, that was uh, that was a long goodbye, that was really sad, really sad, um, wow, I didn't expect that to actually get to me like that. I knew it was going to be emotional, but Jesus. Um, yeah, so, that was, that was that. I'm going to link this in the, um, I'm going to link the page to this game, so you can check it out, like always. Um, support the developers. This was, this was really good. Um, I've played a lot of story games. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've played a lot of story games, and, uh, I haven't played one, like, I've played, I've played ones that were supposed to be sad, and they did a good job, like, making you feel sad, making the environment that you're in sad, making conversations sad, stuff like that, but I've never played one that actually set up an entire scenario, set up an entire friendship, and it, like, an entire, entire lifetime of two lifelong friends in such a short amount of time, like, that first time I only played for, like, seven and a half minutes, and it was still, like, there was enough. There was enough there. There was definitely enough. In the setting, being 40 minutes out of town, you crash your car, you literally cannot make it. You crash your car. You couldn't, like, he couldn't, there was no way he could have been there. Um, you know, because it's not like, it's not like he didn't want to be there, or... Something came up that he could have avoided or something like that. It's that he was going, and he crashed. And you just... You had to end it over the phone. And that's... Well. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed. This video is shorter compared to my first two. Because those other games were longer. So, um... Yeah. See you in the next one.